Welcome to our daily hovers. I'm Economicon, and today we're going to be playing through the game Our Way Down, where we have to try and escape from an evil round with the help of our friend. There is an underpass near your home. Something left from the old world. You've decided not to go in to work today. You don't intend on going back. You go for a walk through the underpass and in the early morning dark. You always liked the old tunnel. Feels nostalgic, like a second home. You feel stunted. You don't understand. You turn around to leave. There's no light, and the tunnel is getting tighter. You run until... Was I squished? Hello? Wait, am I bleeding? Let's just hope I'm not. Hello? Hi. You are the thing that kills me now. Please, say no. Um, no? No, definitely not. I was just going for a walk. The lights cut out, and now I'm here. The man chuckles. Okay. So I guess we're both in the same boat here. You came here after coming through a narrow tunnel that you found just out then without warning, right? Yeah! Well, at least it didn't dump us here alone. It? Do you know what's happening? Oh, sorry if it sounded like I knew what I was talking about. No, I mean, it's generally. Whatever this place is or whatever brought us here. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Can we escape? Who's this guy? Oh, I'm going to leave now. Farewell. I'm going back through the tunnel. It's a looping tunnel. Car says. So, um, it loops, huh? I'm Alagossa. Hector, nice to meet you. Hey, sorry about the whole thinking you were going to kill me thing. Your eyes scared me at first. Um, no problem. So, is there a... Way out through the tunnels? No, tried already. They just loop through this one path. You can give it a try yourself if you need convincing. Yeah, found that out myself earlier. So, I guess the only thing here is that door. Have you tried it? Touched the handle. Lost my nerve when I heard whispers from behind it. Figured I'd just sit here and wait and see if another option presented itself. But now you're here, so I guess I gotta do my job. What are you doing? Getting you out of here. If there's a way out, it's probably going to be through that door. We can leave whenever you're ready. Thank you. You can thank me if I get you out of here. I'll go first. I mean, you have the gas masks. That does make sense. Wait, am I not controlling him? Spectacular. We must proceed. What? It's all right. Doors might lead to odd places. Thanks for the warning, but how do you know that? Long story short, my job is dealing with strange things, like this. Let's keep looking for a way forward. Stay close behind me, okay? Yeah. Oh no, we're in the worst place of all. An office. There's a note on the desk. Hello, if you managed to find yourself here then. You're probably lost and confused. Just said, Ty, this note means I'm either asleep or off exploring the lower levels. Help yourself to a cat of soup if you're hungry. See you soon, Claire. Oh. Are we not having a reaction to the note? Apparently not. It's locked. There's a keyhole here. There's a red scarf in the trash bin. Do we not want it? I've seen the note. I've seen the note. 
Files containing something that was probably important to someone at some point. I mean, are files ever important to anyone ever? I would take a can of soup, but they all appear to be opened. Hmm, looks like someone was using this. Uh, am I not curious about the kept bag? Apparently I'm not. Anyway, I'm leaving. So, uh, my eyes are scary? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, uh, uh, you know what? Showing is a lot easier than telling her. Hector pulls his mask down. Oh, oh! Hector puts his mask back on. Wait, I want to see the maskless. I... Are you okay? Uh, are you ill? <laughs> no, this is normal for us. So, you can imagine my surprise when you showed up and... Hector waves his hand around his eyes. Y yeah, yeah, I understand. That's... wow. Let's get out of here first. We can unpack this later. Yeah, agreed. Wait, I want it. What's with the eyes? It's locked as well. You can't just tease me like this. You can't mention uh, there's some dust on it. You can't mention there's something with the eyes and then not show me the eyes. Can I have some water? A couple of cans of expired soda. Wait, soda can expire? I thought soda was just sugars and ex uh, what preservatives. You take the stairwell to the second floor. I don't think I'd finished exploring the first floor. Excuse me, I need to do the whole second half of this floor. Okay, it's locked. Is this one locked as well? No. But it's identical to the first one, oh dear. Okay, so back to the second floor. You must let me in. Why is everything looking the same? Okay, that looks different. Huh? What? What is that? Not sure. Keep away from it. Hector pulls a voice recorder from his pocket and switches it on. Agent Hector, still day two. I've continued through the door I mentioned earlier. It leads to a hotel interior. Entered one of the rooms and found some kind of red mass. I don't think we have anything like this on file. Red flesh, yellow sacks, sticks to walls, odorless, motionless. It... Okay, yeah, it's definitely not moving, but it feels alive. I'll report my findings as I go. Ah, uh, I've also got a civilian in tow. Came here the same way I did. Hi! Hector chuckles a little. We're going to keep looking at... We're going to keep looking for a way out. Hector switches off the recorder. Okay, let's not mention this again, yes? Hector rummages through the drawer. He finds a key! Da 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 da! Bonus! Okay, but the problem is, most things are locked. Can I pick up this paper? I cannot, it is just decoration! And every room is back to being normal. Except this one. Who's this? Okay, we should leave. So what do I need? Oh, I understand it's the door behind the desk, right? Have I got the key for this? Is this going to be lead to the lower levels? Hater uses the key. The door is unlocked. Oh dear. Hold up. Looks like... Oh Boy, this is one of our guys. Wait here. I'm going to check this guy out. You hang back while Hexa examines the body. All right, friend. What's your story? Hmm, no obvious injuries. All right, let's turn you around. You were looking at the ground when you heard the yelp. It's Hector. What happened? Don't look at their eyes. Sure. What? Look at one of these guys' eyes and you lose yourself. Do not 
look at their eyes. Uh, okay. But when? When did this happen? How? Yeah, I don't understand it either. I'm sorry. Hey now, I'm not going to hear you apologise for something that's not your fault. Now give me your shoulder. Still blind over here. Of course. Wait, so... Something happened to their eyes? I need to know the secret of the eyes. The air feels still here. Where are we? Algosa, you there? Yeah, sorry. It's some hallway. I don't know what this place could be, though. All right, let's keep going. Wait, has he still got his eyes closed? I need some explanations, my friend. You need to tell me the law of your species. Oh, no, please, please. Please tell me. This is not going to be some maze that I need to traverse. Why is there a duck? What? No? Are we, are we not even going to ask about the duck? We're not even going to ask about the dog. Okay. How are you holding up? I'm okay. How's, uh, your eyes? Still blind. I'm more concerned about you. You sure you're okay with leading the way like this? We're stuck here if I don't, so... Yeah, I'm fine. Also, I don't want to change this, but... You don't seem to be bothered by your eyes being missing. Wait, what do you mean eyes being missing? What? What is happening? Would you believe me if I told you I'd lost parts before? Uh... I can't grow parts back. But, in this line of work, sometimes damage is irreversible. Just hope my luck hasn't run out. I hope so too. Wait. I'm so confused. So did he just lose his eyes to that creature? Well, no, it's not a creature, it's his own friend. Wait. Look! You lean over the vase and look into the hole. It's empty. Someone steps into view. You hear a whisper echo from the hole. Her shadow will find you. Well, that's disturbing. Let's touch it. You rest your fingers on the vase. You're certain, beyond the shadow of any doubt, that this is the smoothest surface you have ever touched. Okay. Listen to it. You lean in closer to listen for something. You hear a whisper echo from within the vase. Good luck. Well, now we decidedly creeped out, we should probably leave. I'm at some point still going to need to understand what happened to your eyes, but other than that, why is there another duck? Why is it always the ducks? Locked. <clears throat> why, and why must everything be locked? I wish to explore this universe, and yet you... Bow me. Looks sturdy. Or can I take it? If it looks sturdy, then clearly I could use it. I am never going to find my way out here. Ooh, an open door. But I just found my way out. Hey, keep hanging on to me. There's drop-offs on all sides. Can I actually make him fall off? Like, not that I'd want to. I'm, ju I'm just saying. Could I? Possibly. Curious. Where are we off to? Good evening. Hello? Yes, I am over here. Oh, Sir Knight! Behind the... No, you are mishearing. The voice is indeed coming from the statue. What's going on? Uh, talking statue. Um, I'm Alagossa, uh, and this is Hector. Alagossa, Hector, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Marcus. 
I imagine you are both looking to leave this place, correct? Yes, please. Indeed. It will be the door to my right, but there is a toll. Shoot, here it comes. What's the price? The hole in the door is big enough to fit one's hand in. Forgive me, I couldn't think of a way to ease you into that. All right, Aligosa, can you help me to the door? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, everyone stop. Let's just slow down a sec before we start dismembering ourselves. I am... Here, I'm going to set you down with our new friend. I'll head back and see if I can find something that we can use to get us through that door. I suppose no one has ever tried to demolish the door. Perhaps it could work. Yeah, there you go. And you wait here. No goofy business. Hold on. Maybe I should come with you. And do what? No, you stay here. It'll be faster if I go alone. All right. He really is just up for getting himself um, sacrificed, isn't he? I mean, first his eyes and now his hand. Which body parts do you think he wants to hold on to? I mean, didn't he just tell me he can't regrow them? Okay, I know we definitely saw a sledgehammer. The question is, do I remember where it is? I'm hope. Oh, it's just conveniently at the end of this corridor. Never mind. You pick up the sledgehammer. I hate to ask Hector to help, but I'm gonna need him to swing this. Oh no, we have no strength, apparently. We are unable to swing the sledgehammer. What's the bit Hector's gone? Hector! You haven't, um, lost a limb recently, have you? You wouldn't have done anything, Marcus, I am sure, right? Ah, no, never mind, it's fine. Hello, Hector. Hey, got a sledgehammer. That may work. Great. What's the door made of? Some kind of stone, by the looks of it. All right, help me to that door and guide my swings. I'll tear it down myself. You guide Hector to the door and direct him where to swing. <coughs> Were they good sounds? You both take turns swinging. Mostly Hector. <coughs> Are the tiny little dents my swings? <coughs> Pass it here. I'll go next. Thanks, Aligosa. Really? But... Stop. Just pass it here. We've been at this about 30 minutes. Have a dent in the thing. And you need to conserve... And you need to conserve your strength. Come on. Just give me the hammer. I appreciate the effort. Really. I've got a morphine needle in my pocket. Stab me with it and do what you can to stop the bleeding. He's just gonna lose his hand. Oh dear. Before you can react, Hector quickly feels around the door and jams his left hand into the hole. You do as he instructs and try your best for his stump. You do as he instructs and you try your best for his stump. Oh no, he is losing a lot of blood. Oh, oh no. Pick up Hector and we can keep going. Okay, just hold on to me. I, I feel like Hector's gonna die. Come on, Hector. You must live. I will feel really bad if you don't. At least you've stopped bleeding, apparently. Oh, no. We're back at the desk. We, we in another building? F feels cold in here. Cool? It's not cool in. Okay, we're setting you down. C come on. So I'm a bit chilly. It's, it's no big deal. No. Listen to you. You're shivering. I'll look for a way forward. You stay here and rest. I sh shouldn't let you walk around by yourself. I'll be fine and you're staying here. Done. If you even th think you're in danger, come running back, understand? Here. Think of it like this. 
If you die, I am s screwed. Okay. 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 Well, don't die, please. This way to stairs? Interesting. Now, where can I explore? Here's so, a. Can I look at anything? Oh, well, can I turn it on? Why is this one open? You peek into the open drawer. It doesn't seem to have a visible bottom. Well, that sounds like a problem. Ooh, this one's on. You click around a bit and find a journal. 11 for 23, 20. Woke up this morning and realised I never did find out who knocked at the door. Was so scared of that thing outside the generator room. I forgot about the one who knocked. Gotta figure out a way to get that thing near the generator room. Bradford. Um, what thing by the generator room, huh? I feel like it's really important that I know this. You click around a bit and find a journal. 11th to 22nd. Carlos and Annette are gone. We just found that this facility had a teleporter in it. Carlos cracked the password. Annette and I looked away for a moment when we heard a knock at the door. We looked back and Carlos was gone. Annette went, screw it, and ran for the teleporter. Had insufficient power, but she tried to get herself out anyway. Tried to stop her. Even with low power, the teleporter was still trying to get you out. Power was insufficient though, so only some of her got sent. Spent hours cleaning her up. Went to go turn on the backup generators, but something is down there. Lashed out when I got close. Not really sure what to do now. Guess I'll just leave that side of the building to do... Guess... Guess I'll leave that side of the building to whatever that thing is until I find a way past it. Okay, so clearly I'm going to need to find a way past it, right? I'm definitely going to need to go into the generators. You search the desk drawer and find a note. The door to the teleporter room is 1397. No need to keep secrets here at the moment. Wait, is this for real? Holy crap! This could be our way out! Gotta get Hector! We are out of here! Wait, wait, can you try it? Wait, what was it? One, three, nine, seven, right? Spectacular! I mean, I could potentially try and leave without him, but that seems like a horrible thing for me to do. Okay, I'll go and grab him. I have the code, Hector! I am absolutely sure I'm not going to get mauled by anything when I'm trying to get back to you. No, I'm going to get mauled when I go to the generator, clearly. Hector! Hector, you alive? You place your hand on Hector's shoulder. Hey, it's me. This is going to sound a little strange, but I think I found a teleporter. The past two days have been... Strange for me. I believe it. L let's go. You help Hector to his feet. I mean, when are we going to tell him that the, the uh, teleport is out of power? I feel like that's an important thing for him to know before he gets his hopes up. Come along. It's a good thing you're not bleeding. Uh, was it this one I had to go down? Nope, I've gone the wrong way. This seems like more information that I'm going to need to know, so I'm going to need to get back there. Here you go. Okay, I'm just going to set you down here. Hey, you said there was a teleporter here, right? Yeah, according to some note and password I found. Uh-huh. Are there any emblems on the doors here? Oh, actually, yes. It's three lines pointing up that spread out towards the top. Black and red colours. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think we're actually going to make it. Alagosa, this is one of my employer's offices. Long story short, 
Yes, we have teleporters. Sweet Mamma Jamba, we are out of here. Great, how does it work? Right, there should be a computer nearby that serves as the console. I should be able to walk you through the setup from memory. Insufficient power? Yeah, some rich flashing sign says, Teleport has insufficient power. Okay, no problem. There should be some kind of backup generator in the facility. Probably on the ground floor. Okay, just gotta run down, turn it on, run back, and we're out of here. Please be careful. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, wait, one problem. Do we not remember any of the notes we've already read? I mean, they, they were saying we are not getting past whatever's guarding the generator. You check the monitor. A writing gap opens by itself. A message types itself onto the screen. Do you want to look at the possible future? Yes, I, yes I do. An image appears on the monitor. Well, that's concerning. Just what kind of court ritual have I walked into? Am I going to get sacrificed? I feel like I'm going to be part of some sacrificial ritual. Which, I mean, I'm not saying I'm complaining, I mean... I suppose that's an interesting way to die. You click around for a bit and find a journal. 11th for the 24. Power just went out on the bottom floor. Right wing. I need to get to that generator, but I can't do it with the lights out. Gotta figure something out. There's knocking at the door again. As I write this, it was brief before. Maybe it'll leave if I don't answer it. Going to try waiting. Being sat here for two hours. It's just pacing outside the door. No food or water in this room. I'll just starve if I sit here, so... Guess I'm running for it. At least that way I have a chance. Bradford. You know what? I think he made it. Well, I mean, he at least made it to the other room. Can I actually take the elevator? Elevator's out. Actually, that makes sense. I mean, if the power's out, of course the elevator's going to be out. The elevator currently needs the power. Do we know where the generator was? This is not the generator. Are you believing this is a toilet? Well, okay. The lights in this part of the building are out. You feel weight lifted from you. You feel something return. Um, what has returned? Am, am I not concerned about this? Apparently not. Anyway, generator, right? That's the lift. Where's the generator? Apparently I now have night vision. Delightful. Am I, am I not concerned about the fact that there's blood going down into that thing that looks like it has a pit in the centre? You frantically look at the terminal for a way to activate the generators. You quickly figure out it's the big green activate generators button. Apparently we have common sense at least. Okay, now just to get back. You hear a faint, familiar voice echoing through the vent. Olegosa, is that you? You stand up on your toes and try to pull yourself up the wall. Hector, that's not me! No, no, we're almost out of here. Just hang on, Hector, I'm coming. I mean, I got very look for my choice in rooms, apparently. I mean, I just peeked randomly. I didn't even know that was going to be the generators. Is this always here? Can I just take the elevator up? I just gave it power. Why is the elevator still out? Can I just cut through here? Apparently I can. Now, where's the stairs upwards? Hector! Wait for me! Please don't die! Who else is going to sacrifice their limbs for me? Oh dear. Maybe it was a mistake to leave him by the teleporter. Oh wait, he's, he's, he's here. Hector, it's me. You okay? I, yeah, I'm good. Something ran off when I started hearing your footsteps. 
So there is something here. Oh, balls. Probably. Is the generator running? Yes. Perfect. Hey, can you give me a hand? Yeah, come on. You help Hector to his feet. Just get on the pad, push the button, and you're out. Maybe you should go first, then. I mean, I'm, I'm the one that clearly can see. Never mind. Go on. Hector pushes his voice recorder into your hands. He's not coming. Why give me the voice recorder if he's going to be right after me? This teleporter will take you to my people. Play that for them when you get there. It'll let them know you're safe and mean no harm. There's a bit of a delay between when people arrive. I'm right behind you. Okay, wait. What about you? Are you? How are you going to be able to use this without me? Hector places his hand on top of yours and lays it on the button. It's a fat button. Even a blind guy can find it. Now go on, you first. But, but, th there's a red light. What's that mean? That's an abort sequence. Don't touch it. Go on. I'd like to get out of here now, please. I'm right behind you. You press your palm firmly onto the button. He is not following. Dark. I, I think that's a button over there. The door slides open. Hello? I'm... Uh, I'm not dangerous. You step out of the dark room, through what looks like some kind of office, and into a hallway. Hello? You hear faint chirping through the door up ahead, and you have definitely escaped. Um... No? Is is this not is that not is that not something being crushed by a bookcase? Okay, sure. This is where bookcases go. Are we not concerned what's under the bookcase? Never mind. Wait, wait, can I explore the other rooms? I can but there appears to be nothing in them. Is that the same for all of them? Locked. What? Is this supposed to be a barricade? Can I go back into the room I came from? Not too eager to go back the way I came. Well, that answers that question. Yes, I'm going out. Yes. You push open the door and step outside. A small parking lot, green fields, a road leading to a town, and fresh air. You pull Hector's recording from your pocket and push play. Agent Hector reporting. 1296015. The girl holding the recorder is Alagossa. She is not hostile. Repeat. She is not hostile. Alagossa, this next part is for you. Uh, if you're hearing this, then... Sorry. I'm not going to be following you. I'm also sorry for not saying anything. Couldn't risk you not getting yourself out of here. You seem that nice. You might botch your chance just to help me, so... Off you go. If there's not enough power to get us out, then the backup generators will barely be able to send one of us. Oh, and command? I'm not giving up over here. Extraction would be a good if you can swing it. Please hurry up, though. I'm down to eyes and a hand. All right. This is probably going to be the last thing I record. Batteries running low, and Alagossa should be back from the generator room soon. Please, send her home safe. You wait for hours. No one shows up. In fact, you begin to notice how quiet it is. Aside from the wind, birds and crickets, there is nothing else. No sounds of traffic outside or people. And... You no longer feel stunted. Well, I hope you enjoyed that play for our way down. Got to say, I was definitely getting SCP vibes. It kind of felt like a containment breach with the monsters now roaming the corridors. 
And as always, if you want to check out the game, the link is in the description below. If you've enjoyed your time here, then please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel. Other than that, hope you have a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.